Hello, I'm Andrew Smith. I'm a member of the course team for T155 Linux and Introduction at United Kingdom Open University. This short video is a very brief demonstration of setting up the Sun Micro Systems Virtual Box, which is the PC emulation environment that you're going to be using to run Ubuntu from Canonical. What you need to do is just click on the new icon and up will pop a wizard. The wizard's very straightforward and you just follow it through. You can set this up by easily just typing in your name and then selecting the right type of operating system. Obviously for this course you're going to be choosing Ubuntu. You may choose other versions of Linux. You may choose an XP or a Windows 2000 system, but it's unlikely to work because what VirtualBox does is ensure that the settings of the virtual machine will interact properly with the guest operating system, setting up hardware settings as well as device drivers. You'll want to set up at least 512 megs of memory. This is the free memory that we recommend that you need to run Ubuntu for this course. You could use more. You could get away with less, but it will be entirely down to your computer system and how much memory you have got spare when your host operating system is running with no other applications running. You also need to set up a hard disk. Here you can then go for another wizard and set up a new hard disk. It will need to be a dynamically expanding image because that way then you can set it up for 8 gigs of storage but it will start off at around 2 to 3 gigs and expand according to how many applications that you have installed inside your virtual machine. Great thing about this is you can then easily store this on most common memory sticks that are available on the market. It will automatically call the hard drive the same as your host um, image for the system. You can change this name if you wish. Then we just work our way through the wizard, finish, and we can actually get the system started. So we've got Andrew, and I just double click on it, and we get another wizard now because it wants the ISO image, the CD to actually boot from. Here, I'm going to pick an image file um, and I'm actually going to use a 64-bit um, image file that I've got for my system here and just click on next and finish and as you can see you know, power up the virtual machine boot straight into Ubuntu and immediately select the menu for what language options you want and it will actually get you going through all the standard startup features of the operating system.